California Design College is a specialized computer-aided fashion design college granting associate degrees. Our programs include four degree programs, which is fashion design, um, fashion merchandising, apparel manufacturing, and visual merchandising. And also we have short-term programs that teaches professionals in the fashion industry coming in and taking computer-aided fashion design only. We have about 300 students a year and about 150 graduates a year. I grew up in the apparel industry uh, because my parents have had retail stores and also they eventually had a, a apparel manufacturing company. After finishing college, Sabrina spent six years working for a fashion design school. And then in 1991, while helping her parents with their company, she identified an opportunity for a business of her own. I looked into a lot of different options to improve his company and I saw the computer technology in the apparel industry. It was really interesting at that time because no one was really teaching computers how to use computers uh, for fashion design. And when I saw my background in education and my parents' background and also my experience with the fashion industry and I saw the computers, it was like lightning hitting me. And I felt, gosh, this is it. You know, this is where next generation of professionals in the fashion industry will, will operate. And I really would like to be part of this exciting movement. A lot of people ask me, how did you start this company? And I jokingly but very honestly say I had three things going for me. That was I was young, I was very brave, and I was completely stupid. Those are the three ingredients to start my own business. Um, really, I didn't know what I was doing. So I hired a consultant who, can, who promised that who will give me an approval from the state to open the college. Her parents and others lent her money to get started. We bought almost a half million dollars worth of equipment. We were waiting for this approval. Little did I know the consultant um, just took off and none, none of the approval process was done. So I learned uh, my very expensive lesson. Sabrina mapped out specific strategies for the company, which she followed despite the initial setbacks. When I first started California Design College, I started with three stages of a plan. First stage, which was five years each. First stage was approval stage. During that five years, we got our state approval, federal approval. We were nationally accredited INS um, for foreign students to veterans benefits and JTPA program from the city. Second stage started in 1997, and it's until 2002, and that's our growth year. My background is marketing, and I love going around and talking to people. So 1997, that's what I did. You know, I went around and really concentrated on recruitment. The student population grew 300%, and it was painful. It's probably the pain that everyone dreams of, but it's still a pain. And 1998, as soon as we started 1998, what we've decided to do, since we exceeded our goal first year, we're going to just stay exactly the same, and we're going to build our management team. The third stage includes a couple of options. We would like to have possibly our own apparel manufacturing company. Having students work there and uh, kind of create our own line of clothes. Second option is kind of a global university. Through internet and the technology, we can probably teach computer-aided fashion design technology to everyone all over the world. Sabrina has come a long way from the teenager who struggled to adapt to life in the United States after leaving Korea 16 years ago. Not being able to speak English and not being able to understand the culture was an extremely a frightening experience because, you know, you go into the stores and, and you can't communicate. I wanted to learn English very fast, and uh, that was one thing I was determined to do. It was that determination and that vision that led Sabrina to entrepreneurship. She also had a couple of strong role models. For my parents, starting their business when they came here was probably because they had no option. They couldn't find a job. They were already older. Uh, no one would hire them because their English level was very low. Um, both of them graduated from law school, so their intellects from Korea. 
Sabrina works about 14 hours a day, six days a week, but doesn't consider it a sacrifice to keep such a busy schedule. When I see students graduating, um, just going to graduation each year is a such inspiration for me because each student brings their own baggages and their own stories. And then they are opening another chapter, going into their career, they're accomplishing their dream. And it's just wonderful to see that, my gosh, you know, I was part of that.